Uh, hello, my name is Nick Krupski, officially A. Nicholas Krupski, and I'm running for South Old Town trustee. I grew up on the North Fork. Um, I was born in Southampton Hospital, and I've been in Cutchogue ever since. I left for a little bit to go to school upstate New York. I went to SUNY Cortland. Um, where I studied earth science, uh, geology, and environmental science. I had a concentration in environmental. And then I came back down to Long Island because I missed Long Island after four years. And I went to uh, Long Island University for my master's in bio. I've always wanted to be a trustee from a, a really young age. I, I like have vivid memories of my father and, uh, and Jimmy King, actually. And I, I, I can remember certain, like being brought along on certain inspections where they were looking at drain pipes in, in Mattatuck Inlet, um, some of which I think still need to be fixed. And I just like, I, I just have these clear memories of that. And um, I always looked up to my father and these guys. And um, I think that sort of propelled me into this decision. And, and not to mention, I did, I grew up near the creeks. I was on the creeks every chance I got. I've been on boats, every, you know, water skiing and crabbing and going for eels and all that stuff. So right. it's, it's something I'm really passionate about. Most recently, mm -hmm. um, I started with Cornell Cooperative Extension in 2008. Mm -hmm. um, it was a summer internship while I was an undergraduate. And um, I started on the Scallop project. Mm -hmm. And while I can't personally take credit for that project because it, it was done by a PhD at a Long Island University, um, it was awesome to be a part of that uh, because they have done an amazing job restoring the scallop um, population, um, which is, I, we're seeing the effects. I mean, the baymen are pulling them in, in, in by the bundle, by the bushel, really. <laughs> but uh, so I, I'm pretty proud of, of being a part of that program. Well, I think what would set me apart the most, honestly, is my, my education and background. Um, you know, going to school for multiple sciences. Um, and then, you know, I did, there's two sides of it for me because I come from a science background. I very strongly feel that we should be restoring wetlands um, and eelgrass meadows and shellfish population. And I, I have the background, you know, to prove it. And then with Cornell, I did a lot of that restoration. I did wetland restoration. I did the eelgrass, which is the 100% the um, submerged aquatic species. Um, which is a super important habitat that, that doesn't get enough attention really. Um, but the flip side is that I grew up on the water boating and fishing. So I like both aspects. You know, I'm, I want to find the balance, uh, which I think it's striking the balance is like a key factor. Because um, we need to preserve it. We need to make everything pristine, beautiful, good water quality. Um, but we want to be able to use it at the same point. So I don't want to restrict any any activities either. There's, there's a couple different problems that need to be addressed. Um, one is there's so many people out here. We're obviously a major part of the problem with our ecosystem, but we're here to stay. Mm -hmm. So I think what's really important to the position is having someone with common sense to solve these problems because each, each case that we look at is going to be a, a case by case basis. There's no right answer. You can't say, you know, it's not y plus x equals z. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it's going to be different every time. So it has to be someone who has, you know, calm, level-headed, preferably with a restoration education background who, who enjoys the water, and uh, they can make the right decision every time. Because mm -hmm. it's not, it's not going to be black and white. There's a lot of gray in this position. Well, personally, it goes back to, I grew up watching my father be a trustee. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying that I would ever go further. The trustee right now is my passion. Yeah. Um, but for now, it's just it's something I've always wanted to do. And it's actually, it's, it's incredibly exciting for me to, uh, to experience the whole thing because my whole life has been, uh, you know, sort of leading me in this direction with my background and everything. So it's, it's really exciting. Uh, my friends and family have been really supportive and uh, we're all just having a good time and enjoying ourselves. So. Well, my two favorite hobbies uh, do keep me around the water. I really like to scuba dive. Um, I've done it for, for work and for pleasure for, for quite a few years now. Um, and, and that's even more influenced um, my decision to run, actually. Mm -hmm. I, I spent a couple months up in uh, Long Island City 
uh, diving in Newtown Creek, which borders Brooklyn and Queens. Okay. And uh, I've seen what can happen if we don't take care of our ecosystem. I've seen it's it's probably the most polluted water body out there, and uh, and I've I've seen that. So that's influenced me. Yeah. Um, and then you know my other hobbies are crabbing and fishing, and you know just just being back in the nooks and crannies of the creeks and and spending time out there. So as much time as I have, that is. So good. But yeah. You love it, clearly. I do, I do. I really, it's uh, it's something I've always looked forward to being able to do. So good. And um, if you could speak to the voters right now, what message would you have for them? Why should they choose you? Uh, well, to the voters, I would say, um, you know, I, uh, I have the experience uh, with Cornell. I have the, the background with my education. Um, and it, this is what I really care about. This is where I want to be. I've always wanted to be a Southwell Town trustee, and I hope they'll pick me in November. I'm not here to be a politician. I'm here because I'm passionate about the water, and uh, I'm, I'm not looking at Democrats or Republicans. I'm happy to work with everyone, um, which is something I learned from my father. You know, I'm not, not gonna lie, but uh, I, I'm happy to w reach across the line because I don't see the line. Um, and, and definitely in terms of being a trustee, it's such an apolitical position, um, and that's how I, I feel it should be.